In this next video, I'm going to talk about queues. If you watched the previous video about stacks, this is almost the same exact thing. Um, pretty much the difference is that stacks are uh, last in, first out. As for queues, it's first in, first out. So to start off, we'll just do almost the same thing we did in the stack video. We'll just add pound include uh, queue. Um, then we'll just declare a variable of that queue. Just call it, uh, well, we need to declare the data type first, so we'll just do an integer and we'll call it some queue. Okay, and we'll add something into the queue. We'll add three values. We'll add into the same feature with push. You just do, let's do 150. Push. We'll add 300. And some queue dot push 540 and what you notice is when I iterate through it it should display all the values exactly the same in the same order that I, I am pushing them into the queue so to iterate through the queue is the same thing we did with the stack video so we'll just do while the queue is not empty when we're popping out so while some queue is uh, not empty Okay, and then we'll see out uh, the first value that's inside the queue. In the stack, as if you recall, we did a sum queue dot pop or sum stack dot pop. In this case, it's going to be sum queue dot front. So it's a different name that they use in queues. So sum queue dot front, and that'll that'll obviously be the first variable value that's inside the stack. Um, that's a clo open close function parentheses and we'll do sum q dot pop so it'll um, pretty much remove every element inside that q and we'll do cl dot end end line and we'll run that and see everything's okay and there you go so like I said this is first in first out, so therefore the same order that I enter the values are the same way that they're going to be um, displayed. So 150, 300, and 540, and that is it for your queue.